Hi and welcome back to another video of JPlay. I am Marcus and I was really overwhelmed by all the comments asking me to do another playthrough of Star Trek Frontiers, this time doing the proper solo conquest. Maybe I really should have done that right off the bat, but that's fine, that's fine. I will definitely do another playthrough. This might last, I think, up to six days now. Could be a pretty lengthy exercise. Let's see how things go. I also looked inside the box of Khan, but I don't know if I would have been able to meet him. I think let's go through this playthrough here and maybe if I feel comfortable enough, I could consider doing yet again another Star Trek Frontiers playthrough at some point in time, maybe playing against Khan or so. But today it will be the standard solo conquest. I hope you are fine. Additionally, I also decided playing with the Defiant this time. So yeah, we see Cisco here. So I'm playing with another deck. It's really not that different, but it's kind of different. So I think that's definitely also a nice difference compared to my original playthrough of the first reconnaissance mission. Though that's our starting hand. Uh, I still play against Lursar and Bitor. Doesn't really make that big of a di difference other than the skill tokens I get to draw, but I haven't seen a lot of those. So I think I should be good. We will see different skill tokens from our Defiant. So that's definitely interesting too. I already have prepared the board. Here is our little but powerful Defiant. We are starting with those two frontier tiles. That's a pretty challenging start. So we have a pretty powerful Romulan Warbird here. We have a class, I think it's a, <laughs> I keep forgetting those. I think that's a class K planet. Yeah, right. It is. And we have a Romulan starbase here waiting for me. On the other hand, we do have this outpost where I could get Wolf or Donatris back again and a Klingon lieutenant. I think last time it was a lot of Romulans. This time we have some more um, Klingons. I also appreciate your comments. One of those was Starren, who's one of my supporters, by the way, that I, yeah, I think I played with too many crew cards and those core dice, data dice here, because it rules clearly says actual players plus one. For some reason, I used the AI player as an actual player, which he is not. So in this case, I will play it right. So we only have three data dice and there will be only three crew. This is an advanced um, command card. Uh, that's basically on the board here because I have already uncovered our first class M planet. I will not look at the undiscovered cards and the other cards there. I will look at that when it's time to do so. I think let's look into the tactic cards and I go first, like in the first reconnaissance, so I get, or I get to choose first. And again, my starting hand kind of sucks. So I could go for this one and redraw. Or again, I could go for the fortune, which gives me two immediate tactic cards. And I think this is what I will do. So I will go for this tactics here. I will draw two cards in a second. Let's quickly roll for the AI player. One, two, three, four, and so on. And that's a 10 actually. So he will go for, or Lursen Bitor, they will go for timing. So I will go first this round. That's interesting, but again, doesn't really change things too much. So let's draw two more tactic cards. Oops, what do we have? Another move. Okay, that's important. I think this is what I was hoping for. And ooh, uh, that's okay. We don't need repairs right now, but we could yet draw another card, which could be important. Okay, nice. So right now we have two targets. One could be the class K planet. We do have diplomacy in our hand, but we could also go to the outpost here and go for I kind of favor war for now, or maybe Donatra, who is also fine. But before we do anything, I will play the repair hull here. And as I don't have the proper dice out there, I think I will do like this. So I will power it up because I cannot use any of those dice. On the other hand, I could go for this unknown die here, but that's always kind of a risk. So it could bring out something nice or not. Uh, but two cards now could be beneficial and don't have to discard down to my hand size limit. So let's say I really have more than five cards, then I can still keep those for the next round. So I think I'm not losing those. 
Yeah, let's do that. So we will draw one. Oh, good. Another move. And two. okay, that's I think that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. Yeah, absolutely. We need move anyway. So this card has been played. We have used our data die this turn already. I do have a lot of diplomacy, but Cisco, Picard was really the diplomat and Cisco is more like the attacking guy. So I think I have to adapt my play style to that a little bit at least. So, hmm. I think, yeah, maybe we really want to recruit him first. And as we are engaging one of those guys sometime during this playthrough, I think it would be the better deal going for crew. Okay, so we need two and two. So here are two move and oof, I think let's go for this move. So let's move four, which is in need in order to move onto this outpost. So I could now recruit and I think this is what I want to do. And quite thematically, I do think Wolf would fit very nicely onto the Defiant. Don't you think? Oh, I think I did this in the wrong order. I'm the first player. I think that's the first time I'm first in this playthrough, including the last one. And we need five diplomacy here and we can um, hire him, recruit him on an outpost. Okay, we have two here. We have two here. On the other hand, we could also move this, but doesn't really change a thing. So I believe I will play inside sideways so that's now a diplomacy of five which is good enough to hire wolf nice so we can use him as of the next turn we are not replenishing the crew offer keep that in mind and i believe i will call it an end so there's nothing else in theory i could subjugate this outpost here so i would lose um, I drew cards and gain reputation minus one, but I already have drawn so many cards, so I think I won't do that. No, I don't. I think I don't. Though no, that's fine, so I will not subjugate this outpost. Again, thematically, that could be kind of a problem, but Cisco is a different character. He's a guy that he does what needs to be done, so I think for him that's, that's more fitting, I would say. But that's the end of our round, or turn, sorry, we will reroll that die here. Oh, that's a black one. Oh, we don't have any undiscovered cards. So that's really bad. It's almost like a lost die. I would have been able to use it when going after this K plan and then go for an undiscovered card. But in this case, ugh, kind of bad. So these cards are discarded. Yeah, and then we simply draw one another move. Cool. And attack shields. Okay, so we really have to get closer to this Romulan warbird, I guess. Over to Lursor and Bitor. They will draw one, two, three cards, another yellow one, so they will move through that deck quickly. But we are also moving very quickly, so I don't believe that they will outrun us here. I think we will call the end of the round. At least that's how I feel about it. Okay, that's already the end of their turn, or basically that's we are kind of the end of the real turn now, so it's over to us. We are the starting player this round. And I guess we want to move next to this Romulan Warbird here. And then maybe we want to explore too. So we need four movement points. I think that should be doable. Yeah, I think that should be okay, right? Yeah, okay. So we will play this move four for now. We power it up with this die one and two that's four movement points and if we start here we i think we get do we don't we get an extra card no we get a white die if we start our turn although that could be beneficial and if we want we can spend another move two to explore here huh should we do that i think we should actually so we will spend another move i think we have to continue to move as quickly as possible. I will not play with a chaotic um, movement roll, and that's pretty terrible. So we get another Romulan Starburst. We are adjacent to it, so we can look. Oh, wow, that's that's pretty tempting. And I think this is a class L planet, and this is really bad. I mean, they could have printed it on there. Come on. No, that's a class. No, it's class L planet. I think this looks, no, that's class L in distress, but that's a standard class L, yeah. 
that's what it is. Problem is, I cannot move through here. Of course, I could move through. So right now, there is definitely an incentive taking out those guys. So now I have an interesting choice to make. But let's not forget to award ourselves one experience for exploring another tile. Question is, do we get enough here? So that's, uh, that's really... That would have been a two. I think I would have gone for it. But in this case, can we do enough damage on this Romulan Starbase? And I don't believe we can. Oof. Okay, I have to look at my cards. In theory, we could create enough shields here. We have Worf with that. So shields is really not our problems in this case. But I think we don't get enough attack because here attack four. Hmm. We know we don't have any yellow data, so we cannot power it up. So it's attack two. Here's another attack two or photon pulse shield three. Again, this would be also nice. I think we just cannot do this, right? So that's, we need seven in order to defeat those. So let's say we are using these, these shields here for three. That's enough to block them. Then we need seven attack, seven attack. So that's two. Another two from Wolf, that's four. We could, that's five. No, we will not. On the other hand, we could simply suck up the damage, but we would get two damage. Yeah, because our damage is currently, or our defense is only a two. Two damage is not great. So no, I think let's be reasonable. Maybe we draw something better next turn. Yeah, and we can still go here, but I think I don't know. I think we don't have any more um, diplomacy in our deck. Okay, so we will attack those guys here. Yes. We will not do any long range attack. No, we won't. So we need to come up with four defense here. And they have, I think there's an anti-matter, anti-matter weapon here. Yeah, any undeflected damage from this enemy's double. So we definitely want to block this damage. But I think we can do that without too many issues by using Wolf Shields 4. In theory, enemy would lose his disruptors. They don't have disruptors, so we have blocked it. So the anti-matter weapon doesn't kick in. Next, we need three attack. So here we have attack two. And oof, I think, mm, no, I think let's play this card here sideways. So that's attack three, which is enough to take out those guys. So we get one reputation because it's a uh, yeah, roaming warbird and we get three experience points. So one here and one, two, and three. So that was the important piece leveling up during the first uh, round. That's really, really, really important. So we get an advanced command card and we get one skill. We will do that in a second, but I guess the turn is over. There's nothing else we can do. I believe I could have attacked them at the same time, but yeah, let's not do that. So that's out of here. We have dealt with that. Yeah, let's simply go to the end of the turn, end of the round, end of the turn. Oh, I keep saying that's a blue one, at least another color, which is something that could be beneficial. We will discard those cards. And now we do the level up. So let's look at the skill tokens first, because this might have an impact on my cards I get to choose. So here we have target lock. So that's either or once per turn, plus two attack or plus one long range attack. Once per turn, that sounds pretty amazing. And the other one, where is the, ah, here. Attack pattern delta, nice. Once per turn also, though there is no yellow arrow on it, shields three, photon pulls two, or photon torpedo shields two. Wow, so that's a pretty shieldy kind of thing to do. But here we get some attack. And if we are thinking on taking out those Romulan Starbase, I think having more attack could be beneficial. Yeah, right? Should we do that? Yeah, and, and let, let's look at, at this one here. That's retreat. That's a very weird token for a cling and flip this to move to an adjacent space for free or to move two spaces for two move points must end in a safe space does not provoke adjacent enemies. Okay, that gives us one free move to an adjacent once per round. Ah, that's also not bad. That's also not bad. But right now I think let's go with the I want to be more aggressive in this playthrough. So yeah, let's go for this. This goes to the offering, so I could 
use it later but this is really a token i could use with my next turn or so but let's not forget our advanced action card here's another move that could come in handy and the move cost of suns is reduced to one this turn and i believe i misspoke in my other playthrough that you could move through suns that's crap of course you can but it's awfully expensive with this i could move through that for one so make some but this is also very tempting. You can take one damage to increase this to attack five or attack four, and you can take to attack nine honor. And this really feels so thematic to Wolf. I think I have to go for this card. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go for this card. We put it on top of our deck. Um, this slides down. We bring out a new one here, and that's Seasoned Away Team. Okay. Oh, that's also Cisco. Nice. Play this card at the start of an away mission. All participants crew have their diplomacy and attack will increase by two. Oh, wow. That's so amazing. I want this card. That's for sure. But I think that's really the end of our um, turn. Let's draw our cards. I think we're already close. Oh, what a surprise. Honor. Battle stations. Okay, we might be able to take out those suckers. Okay, that's nice. On. And one more. When you play this, also pay one red, blue, or gold data token. Gain one data crystal of that color in your inventory. Okay. Um, and I think I also get one white data crystal. Yes. When I start, right? If you start your turn on a tridoc. So yeah, before I forget, I will place it right next here. Over to Lawser and Tor. One, two, and three. But I really don't think that those guys will be a problem to us i think we are much faster than they are okay the idea is to take out that romulan star base here but i also want to continue moving actually so i think we should be okay we have that white data crystal because we landed on this base here on this dry dock so first of all i think yeah we will play synthesize data with a, power it up with a blue game one red bull uh, but I think we need a yellow data crystal this round. Okay, that was this card. Then we want to move four. So four, we need to power it. And I will power it with my data token, which I got from the Trider, which is a wild card, so we can use it for any card. So that's two, and then we will explore here. That gives us another experience points up to five. I will do that off camera right now. And that's the new tile. We will have a new Romulan Warbird out there. Okay, that's an easy one. And it gives me a nice move ahead later on. Okay, that's great. We are still adjacent to these guys here. So I could, I think I will attack them. I will. So I will not do any long range attack. I will go for standard. So they will shoot first with three, but we will use Cisco who has photon pulse shields of three. That's totally fine. I can use those shields also for standard phaser defense apparently. So that's already blocked. So now we need to come up with seven attack, which sounds a lot. Okay, this is four if we power it up with a Chris, but we could also take the five here when taking a card, but we are not, we cannot heal automatically. That's kind of a bummer. So I don't want to do that. So I will use my data crystal, which I got from this card here to have an attack four. We will use our, see that's attack six. We need one more to go. And here it doesn't really matter if I played sideways or not, but let's overachieve here in this case. So that's attack eight, which is enough to take out those guys. I will lose one reputation. So I will do that also off camera, moving back to our starting position, but those guys are really out of here. So first of all, I will score three more points, which is great. One, two, and three. But because we have defeated those guys, we have to forcefully move on to that. So that's okay. I didn't really think about that one now, of course, but okay, that's what it is. And we can mark it accordingly. And while we own it, we have our hand size increased by one. Problem is I only have two more cards in my deck. 
So I think this doesn't really matter that much. In theory, I could hire someone there. Maybe, well, maybe let's see what comes out. But that's already the end of our turn. We will do the level up in a second. So let's reroll that die. That's another yellow die. Not sure if I need or not. We get this token back. Keep in mind, that's really something that we can use once per turn. Those tokens and crystals are out of here. The cards are out of here. So let's draw our last two cards. Okay, we can move. I think that's not too bad. Or oh, we could heal now. Game one red token. Red or gold. Oh, we cannot use it. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, that's that's interesting. Well, we can get a move three, maybe. I think that's the best we can take out of this. But okay, let's not forget to level up. So we are now already in level, is it level three, I believe? Yes, so we have three more, def or one more defense. That's actually kind of nice. And we have one more room for another, yeah, crew member. But yeah, I think that's not gonna happen anytime soon i believe we will move over to lursa and Pitot, but it really doesn't matter i believe because again yeah though they will not draw any more cards so we will call the end of the round before they do and i will try to use this undiscovered die here i believe yeah let's see if we need i think we simply have to re-roll that and then we have to live with that okay that's a yellow but mm, we don't need yellow we i was really hoping for a white or for a blue so i think i cannot use it in any way so yeah, the other only thing that's left to do is we will move two and we will move three which is enough to move us here to this i think nebula good thing is we are still adjacent to our star base here so we will draw um one more card and we might be able to go after this one it depends on really the cards that we are about to draw but that's really the end of our um round we would now move over to Lursor and Bitor. It doesn't really matter. We will reshuffle everything anyway. So next we will call it the end of the round, which we have to do. We will return all of our tactic cards. So those two cards are out for the next round. And then, yeah, let's reset everything. So let's reroll those data dice. Okay, at least two of those show basic colors. So that's really a great roll. So wild card, I think that's, that's really something. We will replenish all of those. This goes to the bottom of the advanced action deck. Those guys, I think, also go to the bottom of their respective deck. We are bringing out three more crew members. Miroc, okay. Then still the only silver Federation officer. We already know this guy and another Klingon lieutenant. And yes, again, we will bring out another advanced card. That's experience, which we can buy, I think, at an outpost for six. No, no, at the class M planet, apparently. We will take the bottommost card and we'll shuffle it into the deck of Lorsar and Betor. This is an um, undiscovered card. It simply goes to the bottom of its pile, but we are adding one more yellow data crystal to their inventory. Let's slide those down. We bring out a new card here, Agility. That's a nice one. Yeah, we know this one. That's a really cool one. And we do the same for the undiscovered cards here. So what do we have? Repair one and draw two cards. Oh, wow, Advanced Engineering. That's a nice card. Really nice card. Then, yeah, we will reset Wolf. Apparently, we really need to hire another crew officer as soon as possible. Let's draw our hand of cards. We get one more because we are next to our Romulan Starbase. I believe this also counts at the start of the turn or round in this case. Okay, we have a lot of move. We have some diplomacy. Okay, that's... Hmm. I really don't like moving back, but I think we might want to do that anyway. And then we choose our tactics. Again, I want to go... Ooh, I think I'm pretty happy with my hand. Yeah, I am. So let's go for the secret plot. Yeah, let's do that. Let's roll for those one, two, three, four. You know the drill. Again, I will go first. Interesting. So this card is here. The other two cards are coming out for the next round. So we can pick those again. And because of the secret plot, I have to choose a die. So let's go for the yellow one. I have, I think, a good amount of yellow cards. So let's go for a yellow data die, 
which I can use any time during my turn all round in this case. And then we put it back to the core. We will go first. And there are some nice options here. First of all, I could easily take out this guy and maybe continue to explore. But I could also go in here and go for another crew member, which I can get relatively cheap. And maybe, maybe that's what I want to do. But then I could move in here with the next turn. I would provoke those guys. I cannot go here, interact and attack those guys. So this will be my action. And I don't have to fight those guys. And we still have this planet here. That's a class L planet, which would give me some additional data crystals. Also nice early doing the round, but uh, don't have. I have one diplomacy card in my hand, a diplomacy four, but that's really not an awful lot. Of course, we could still try to take those guys out, but oof, I don't have any defense either. Ooh, and long range attack. So, wow, this would be a risk. Uh, no, I don't think we want to go after this class L planet right now. But moving here and going for this officer might also not be a bad idea. But then uh, I'm really stuck. Then I really have to move here. I believe if I move here, I provoke them immediately. So I cannot explore further believe that's how it reads. So I think this is also not our greatest choice. So ideally we go in here and find a star base right here, an outpost right here, for example. This would be a nice thing too, but then now we would not provoke him if we're moving out. But this gives us more option. I think that's what we should be doing. Yeah, let's go for it. We will play explore. We will power it up with our wild card here. Yeah, let's do that. So let's two and we will explore here. I'm, I'm really moving too fast maybe because again I have to power up my deck before I have stand any chance meeting those Klingons. And no we have a Dominion star base that could be even worse. Good thing is we can reveal it right away. They have bio weapons or bio matter or so weapons. Oof, also not great. And we have yet another Romulan starbase here and another planet. Okay, that was not what I was hoping for. But now, good thing is I still have a choice. In theory, I could move back onto this outpost here, but then I would provoke those guys and have to fight, which would also cost me another point. Or I could really consider going after this Dominion because this would give me, I believe, an undiscovered card, if I recall that correctly. And yes, that's the case. Can be assaulted. Your reputation minor, my faction token, move on to and gain one is undiscovered card as your reward. I have to check my hand now because that's a pretty nasty one. So whenever I get a damage card onto my hand, I also put another damage card onto my, I think, discard or draw pile. Discard pile. So it will come up at some point in time during the next round. Ugh, that's a tricky one. Again, I could use Wolf relatively early and use his shields four. Then I have to power it up with another card sideways to make it a shield five. That's really not, not terrible. And then I need five more attack, which is, I believe, also not really a problem. We could use the honor card here, for example, in another card sideways in order to achieve that. So maybe uh, that's not the worst thing. Maybe we should do that. It's much better than this other um, Romulan war, but gives us an undiscovered card. Yeah, I think we have to do that. Yeah, let's do that. So once again, we will lose one reputation for attacking that Dominion star base. So we are not playing any long range attacks, which is kind of a pity. I don't have any long range. So we need some five shields because again, if we don't block it, we could four we could ah, that's two damage cards which we would get um and it oh no i think not so we will use wolf in order to generate four shields and we will play pff, i don't know yeah let's play this card here sideways so that's a shields five so we have successfully blocked those so this doesn't kick in now we need to come up with five damage on our own and now i'm really ah we have our oh let's not forget that let's not forget that Okay, no, that's fine. We will use the data die that we have taken from our secret plot card in order to play attack, uh, honor. So this gives us an attack four. Yeah. 
And we will use apparently our token here. That's attack six, enough to take those guys out. They don't have anything that would protect them. So those guys are out of there. We already have used um, or lost our reputation. We will gain four experience. So that's 12 or three more to go. We have moved on to the space base accordingly and um yeah then we can pick one of those undiscovered cards this is, is awfully nice but oof, that's kind of lame this is much nicer call to arms we can use the ability of a member in the group for free we cannot uh, for for way teams but at least we can use them and this gives us three spaces of movement which is really 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 huge oh they are all tempting but again this gives us a lot of flexibility i think i will go for call to arms yeah let's put that on top of our deck we will slide this one down we still have one red data token a uh, data die in the token so let's bring out a new one advanced research during the main row you may receive the stronger effect wow an up to two action cards for free oh I need the advanced research here. Okay, that's the end of our turn. Let's simply re-roll those two data. Oh, <laughs> that's not a good roll. We are not adjacent to one of our star bases, so we only get to draw two cards. Here's Coat to Arms, and we have Cisco back. So we might want to attack because using both of those gives, could give us a lot of attack, actually. Very nice. Let's quickly do their turn one two and three of course it's yellow one and two because they have no two data crystals in their inventory that's already the end of their turn and then we might want to check out what's underneath this one here i still don't have an awful lot of uh, uh, no i don't think so we could go for this one, but yeah, even there we don't have, yeah, we still have that diplomacy here. That could be a diplomacy four. A diplomacy four is not bad. If I would have one more diplomacy card, I might, but I could still, I think I could still, no, I cannot move in here. I could of course move over, but uh, that's, I think I don't want to move there. I think that's a lost cause. So I think, I really want to explore further down there, right? Problem is how much I need for move and I don't have a lot of move cards, of course. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. We have a lot of attack. We can really come up with a lot of attack. We need a move four somehow. So let's again use this die here. That's yellow, okay, that's good. We will use the yellow die here cool stuff for move four so we will move in here first of all before we explore let's look what's underneath here we have they have disruptors unfortunately wolf has already yeah we already used him that's really a bummer um and then we have two more move points so let's continue to explore there what did we get oh that's another romulan warbird okay that's okay maybe not too bad bad they also have disruptors you must be kidding me and we have another dominion star base here waiting for me and here's an outpost which we could go to and recruit maybe the federation officer later on okay we are still in our movement so if i would move here we would provoke him and maybe that's not the worst thing in the world that we can still then move on later on the other hand oh huh I think not. I think the idea is now to attack either of those. Losing another reputation could be problematic because I would go to minus one. So when hiring then later on, I start with a minus one in theory or practically as well. So what should we do? I mean, the thing is they both provide us three experience, which is enough to level up, which should be our next goal, right? Yeah, I think so. The problem is we still have those awful disruptors there. And disruptors, oof, all shields are half when blocking an enemy with this ability again. So I would need to come up with six shields. Yeah, okay, that's not the worst thing in the world, right? Hmm. 
I mean, we have Cisco with us. He gives us a shield three. So basically half of it. This only blocks one damage out of this. And then we don't need to block at all because we only take one damage card because of our base defense. So that's also not the worst thing in the world, actually. Ah, no, I think let's let's not do that. Let's not go too crazy. That's fine. Okay, we will attack those guys. Um, we will simply take that damage again the way how this works keep in mind so we take one damage card to our hand right off the bat nothing we can do about that then we will subtract our defense three minus three is zero so there's nothing else to distribute so that was the only damage that we have taken really not too terrible we really shouldn't be too afraid of taking some damage every now and then then we need to come up with four attack um, we have two here. Apparently, this is really a nice skill. And yeah, the only other two need to come from me. Yeah, I think this needs to come from Cisco in this case. Photon false attack, pulse attack. So four attack, bam, this guy is out of here too. This gives us the three, one, two, and three experience points we needed to level up. Pretty amazing. Okay. Then, yeah, let's do the end of the turn. So we will reroll another yellow. Could be nice. Don't know that yet. We will clean up the board a little bit. Let's look at the skill tokens first. I mean, that's pretty obvious. That's a photon pulse attack two or phaser attack of two. Again, once per turn. And this gives us one data token other than white, uh, but we can only use it once per round. And this gives us either a plus one standard long range phaser or long range pulse phaser or so but that's some long range and that's not terrible but here another two attack <laughs> this is so tempting i mean that's four attack we get each turn without playing any cards yeah defined you are a very very powerful ship so we will once again go for this one here this is nice but we don't have too many other long range things with me on the other hand we do have here is also some long range and we have at least two cards in our deck that also give us two long range but then i would be limited to the bottommost card in the advanced offer and i don't want that and this hmm, it's also nice but once per round if that would be i think the enterprise had more powerful of those we would gain crystal and a token for example but of course here we get to choose um no we will go for this <laughs> seems pretty boring again the other two are going into the offer i believe i cannot repick my own tokens i have dismissed at least that's how it works for the multiplayer game not sure if that's the same with the solar rules but that's how i will play it and then we get to choose another advanced card and here oh that's so nice i mean we have to deal with evade teams anyway when dealing with those spore cubes at least it's very likely uh, yeah, put this card, play this card on wave mission. All participating crew members have the diplomacy and if attack increased by two of any kind. So each of my crew members have a plus two. Actually, I think that's pretty nice. Yeah, let's go for the seasoned away team. Let's put this on top. Problem is, I that's the only card I will draw next round, but I will take it anyway. Let's bring out a new card. That's the change of strategy. Pick out the top two cards of your ship deck, place one card in your hand, shuffle the other one. Nice, but oof, they are definitely more powerful cards in the deck. So I, oof, yeah, those two are okay. M mean move is always a good thing, but oof, yeah, I don't know. Then let's draw our card. Oh, what a surprise. It's a seasoned away team. So I think it's very likely that we will only play it sideways or so this round. Uh, and I don't have any heal, right? No, I don't. Do I have any heal or no, not even the crew. I could go for this, but none of these crew members have this um, repair skill either. Okay, it's what it is. Again, over to Lursor and Pitor, two and three. This time they are not drawing any additional cards. So I think they are roughly halfway through the deck. And then we have to make a choice and ooh, I could move in here. Could I create six move? I don't know. So I have a four move. No, I cannot play the four move because I don't have a blue crystal. That's a bummer. <laughs> That's really, really a bummer. 
And now really regretting not going after this outpost um, early on. I could also move six here, but that's the same thing. I cannot create six movement points. With the cards I have, unless I'm willing to use my call to arms, which lets me use one of those crew members in the offer, but oof, the best they can do give me a move too. But okay, the move cost of through suns and or nebula are reduced by one, by one. Oof, it's also not great. Oof, but here's another diplomacy too, which, which we could use, but there are no planets immediately nearby. Buy. Oh, that's really kind of a bummer. We have a red, but we don't have a red token. You must be kidding me. That's really so terrible. Everything I want to do doesn't pan out because, yeah, I mean, I made the choices. So don't be surprised, Marcus. Now, I think uh, let's start with a move two and move in here. So at least we can peek under this Dominion star base here. Wow, those guys are pretty... Oof. I mean, they're not doing a lot of damage. And in theory, no, we can't. Oh, I was hoping that we could use Miroc here, but in order to use them, we also have to use a blue power die or data die, which we don't have, apparently. Okay, those are pretty nasty buggers. And they have... I think, think wow phases and photon pools are also a halved and uh, I keep forgetting what's this pixely one here that's the energy dissipator if it receives one or more damage cards from an energy attack the player must immediately discard all non-damage cards from their hand cool <laughs> wow okay so I think I might but I don't have enough either oh man that's now really bad i mean yeah my rock still has shields three and we have definitely four attack to take those guys out so this section is covered but this one is critical because again our efficiency is halved so there's really not an awful lot that we can do otherwise of course we could move two space one space here but then this card is gone and i think i really want to make some progress on the other hand three here doesn't give me a lot of other other than i get to draw an additional card this could be crucial and i'm basically beamed here and then from the next turn i could immediately explode maybe okay yeah i think we have to do that so we don't have any long range attack i'm pretty sure those will come up with the next card i'm drawing so i will definitely take more damage so first of all i really hate it uh, we have the black data but we cannot create the red data on top of this so maybe i really should have gone for the other two but that's not too late apparently we have already have received new information so we will use the red die here in order so we are again we attack to power up the call to arms you may use an ability of one crew member in the crew this turn as if it were one of your recruits and i think in this case we will use miroc for the shields three we will play here this card here sideways that's a shield four problem is our shields are half so that's only a shields two so we are still taking two hits incoming so one gets to our hand Oof, we're really getting beaten up here um, then again we have enough uh, defense so we're not taking any additional damage then we need four more damage again that's really not a problem we will take those out with our two skills so defines is pretty powerful so those guys are out of here two now again we are losing one reputation which is not great but we are getting three more one two and three more experience really not sure how i'm doing here folks but let's see when this boar cube finally comes out then we beam onto this we will mark it good thing is we have now our hand size increased by two because we get the bonus for each dominion star base uh romulan star base we are controlling so that's definitely a bonus um, but that's about it right there's really nothing we can do right now here yeah, of course we have played the call to arms here too so those cards are out of here um we have used the red die so we have to reroll but that's yellow Oof, not sure if i like that or not but then we get to draw two extra cards this round turn so let's draw the two cards we get to our five then a plus two. Oh, that's nice that's very nice cool we get those cards 
that's a way cool. And then two more because of our Romulan star bases we are owning. I think that was not too bad. I think that's good. Over to Lorsar and Pitor. One, two, and three. Three, that's another blue, so they will reveal yet another card. I think that's still okay. We have definitely some more turns left. As I truly hate damage, we want to play this card here. We will power it up with a die from the core. So repair two, we will repair two. So those two cards are out of here, nicely done. And yeah, then maybe we should, hmm. Yeah, let's for now, no, let's not do that. Let's take this card here for a move two. Again, this is really independent of any action. This is not the action for our round here, this one here. So we will explore here. We are really coming closer to the core tiles. I think the next one is already a core tile, awesome. And that's here, okay, here's one of those. Here's another Romulan. Robert. And we have another class M planet, which means we get to draw yet again another advanced card, which we can recruit here. What is it? Gain one long range photon pulse attack. Ah, that's nice. I think we need a card which gives us some data. I think that's a pretty cool card. The thing is, I somehow want to move closer to these guys here. Okay, they have a resistance to phasers. And they also do a lot of damage. Uh, but I could also move around here going to this class M planet and then I can recruit there. But oh, I think the only one I can recruit would be Mirok. But he's cool. But seven diplomacy, that's really something for sure. Hmm. Let me think about my next step for a second. But while I'm thinking, let's not forget our experience. And I don't know if I forgot this or not, but I think I can count these down, right? I mean, I should be able. So three, nine, six, nine, 12, 16 points for that. And we have one, two, three, four, five additionals out. Can this be? Have I received additional points for something else? I don't think so. We have one, two, three, four, five things that are, I believe I've taken out all of those, right? Nothing that I just discarded, no. So that's 12, 16 should be here. We should have way more points, right? Folks, I think I really forgot that. One, two, three, four, we have five additional things out. So that's 16 plus three plus two. So we should be here. We should be here, actually. I really hope I haven't messed things up. But yeah, let's see about that. If not, I will take it back. This Dominion Starbase is really kind of tasty, but ugh, I don't really know. Maybe I really should call it an end of a turn. Um, I still have a move, but I don't know where to move to. And if I end here, I still get two more cards. So moving away now doesn't necessarily help me that much. And if I could reach this one, then yes, this might be a different story, but I'm not able to. If I no, I don't think so. No, let's end our turn. Let's simply reroll that die. Oh, another black one. Oh, that's terrible. That's really terrible. Those cards are discarded too. We will draw two extra cards. Mm, yeah, this is great now with two black data out there. That's nice with a lot of attack, but we get two more improvise. Okay, this could really help us. And here we have the diplomacy, but we don't have any red data to power it up. You must be kidding me. Mm. Okay, thing we can do about it. Um, let's draw cards. One, two, and three. They're really, f oh, wow, wow. One and two, okay. So we have two more turns now, actually. So we get, we are starting a new round now or a new turn because again, we are the starting player. And then, yeah, they will pretty much call it the end of the round. But again, that's two more turns I get to do. Wow. And now, yeah, okay, we don't have too many cards left in our deck. I think we should be good. So what should we do about this? Um, This is really too bad because if I do this, I don't have enough to 
crazy to take it out because I will take damage because I cannot block this, I believe. Let me check my new hand of cards. No, we don't have the photon pulse torpedo tag. Of course, we could come up with four shear, but even that seems very or very difficult to achieve. So I might really consider moving in here and take out those guys here. I should be able to defeat those. So I need six movement points and when I end my turn I get a blue data crystal. This could be really helpful for the next round then. So yeah let's let's see about that. Uh, unfortunately we don't have this here. Uh, we had this but we no longer have this. Could be a move five. This would be cool. But this could give us a move three if we would play. Yeah, I think we will go for this. So that's a move. Oh, no, that's basically discarded just to play this card. So that's move three. We still need to play one card sideways. And yeah, I think ah, that's diplomacy. Mm -hmm. We don't need that <laughs> many attack, right? We need attack six, but we need some shields. Again, we will take an awful lot of damage otherwise. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's play this card here sideways so that's a move four doop, doop. so we ended our turn so we don't get that crystal right away this is really stuff that happens at the end of our turn unfortunately i think i cannot use it anyway no i think we should be good in theory i could now play a move two and peek here and maybe that's what we should do actually but i have to see okay how many shields do i need i need a shield of if I get two shields, at least I only take one damage card, which is not too terrible. Yeah, I think I want to get rid of those guys. Um, I will not play. I, I have long range, but not enough, right? Hmm, okay, but that's interesting. I think I don't need that many cards like I thought I would. Okay, cool. So that's a shields two. We have still shields um, three, three more to block. And in theory, I could really do that and avoid taking any extra damage. Yeah. So that's shield four and we play one card sideways and that's, I don't know, diplomacy or move, diplomacy or move, diplomacy or move. I haven't used any diplomacy yet. Um, let's Nah, let's let's go for diplomacy. So that's pretty much a shield of five, though enough to block those guys. So now I need to come up with six normal, but I should be good. I think I have this photon pull, so that's this uh, basically taking away two of those because again they're only resistant to standard phases. And then I need two more phases because again these are inefficient, but that's still good enough. So overall, that's in theory six damage in respect to those. So again, I will subtract two damage points for this. This is not, this is efficient attack. Then we have still one remaining inefficient attack, but that we have two points here. So that's enough to take out those guys here too. Again, we get our diplomacy, uh, our thing back to zero. That's nice. We get four points. One, two, three, four. Yet again, we get a skill token. But we are really doing poorly in respect to recruiting those. I mean, the, our hand size now has increased. Problem is we only have two more cards in our hand. Oof, that's really not great. And we haven't even used a die. Uh, okay, heal one, move two. Yeah, I really should have... Oh, maybe maybe I can use the move here. Well, who knows? I think maybe that's not. that's really not the worst thing in the world. The only thing that Lursa and Vitor are doing is to call the end of the round. And I almost forgot I get a blue data crystal from this. I really must not forget that. Okay, cool. Then we will, yeah, use full speed ahead. So we still get one more turn apparently. We will power it up with a yellow die. First of all, we will use those two points here. That's our first core tile here. And that's unfortunately not yet a ball cube, but maybe that's maybe that's not so bad <laughs> after all. But we have two blocked spaces here. We have another Dominion star base. We cannot peek under it. And we have a Borg sphere. And I believe during the last video, I not showed you a Borg sphere. I think I showed you a planet because I was really surprised 
seeing um, diplomacy tokens. I think you don't really do diplomacy with Borg Spheres. And I still have two more movement points, so it could be still worth it moving here and peek under it, right? I mean, there's no reason not to, because I still have a lot of attack, actually. And maybe, yeah, let's do that. So we will move in here. Ooh, okay, those are tough. Okay, they have only this. I think we know this one. Um, What's the attack called? I keep forgetting this. That's a photon torpedo attack. So only photon torpedo shields are effective. But this way we get three damage cards into our hand if we cannot block. And I think we cannot block anything. But we would be able to generate... Hmm, we would be able to generate five defense, but do I really want to take three damage cards to our hand? They go to our discard pile and we might be able to take them, or at least this would not be a turn in vain. Ooh. Yeah, I read somewhere you shouldn't be too concerned taking some damage, but three sounds like an awful lot. But we just increased our hand size, so maybe that's not so bad after all. And there is a chance we could heal. That seems really bad. That seems really three cards. If it would be two, I would say, okay, maybe go for it. But three sounds really bad. Of course, they are shuffled into the deck, so we don't necessarily get those into our hand. That's tempting. Now, again, keep in mind, we have our two skills here. Those are at four points alone, and we can easily generate one card sideways and that six attack without problems. We would lose another reputation, but it's also not the worst thing in the world, actually. Oh, guys, uh, what do you think? It's tasty, but losing the reputation, I really want to hire someone... On the other hand, we get another undiscovered card. And there is a cool card. It's a repair one card is in there. No, let's do that. So we will attack those guys. Absolutely. Um, nothing else will happen. So we will take six points of damage. So first of all, we will take one damage card to our hand. We are still okay. I think we are not getting any catastrophic damage. Only if you really, your hand is fully clocked, I believe. And yes, we are good. Only if you take basically the same amount of damage cards or greater than your hand limit, then it's catastrophic damage. Okay, that was the first one. Then we will again look at our thing here. We are just um, basically removing two, uh, three out of this. So we take it another damage card. Then again, we add three. Again, we do the same thing again. First of all, we draw another card. So that's three damage we have, wow, taken. That's pretty bad. And then it's our turn, so we will hit back. Again, these are one, two, four points worth of damage. We will play, I don't know, doesn't really matter that much, right? Turn is over, any, or round is over anyway, so that's five damage. Um, we are not playing any photon torpedoes. Awesome, those guys are out of here. We will lose the reputation, but we will gain five experience points. So, one, two, three, four, and five. Pretty amazing. We will get beamed onto this starbase. We can look underneath this one here. Yeah, yeah you must be kidding me. <laughs> okay, that's the first contact with the Borg. How nice is that? We will take this back. All the cards are gone too. We will still get an undiscovered card, right? Yes, and as we are start doing some real... Oh, taking some damage now, I think we will go with the advanced engineering. But this is also great. During the remainder of this turn, you may receive the stronger effect on up to two action cards that you play. I think that's the better one because we do have some repair or We have at least one repair card, but this repair and draw two cards and we have a repair two, three. That's more versatile, right? Now let's go for the advanced research because we don't have a lot of data crystal, no, a lot of abilities for the data crystal. I think let's let's go for it. Let's take this card. We would put it on top of the deck, but again, the round is now over because again, they have done so. We, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We will do the cleanup. So again, those guys will get a yellow data crystal. And this card will get removed to the bottom of the respective deck. 
Lewis Rambitro will get another blue card into that deck. But I think I will do everything else at the start of my next video. I will show you. I think I will do everything here off camera. I really hope I haven't messed things up so bad, especially in respect to my experience point. But I think we should be okay. So we have definitely leveled up now, which is pretty amazing. We will see new crew cards coming up. We have rediscovered our first core tile which means we will also now start seeing some of those golden dudes here which can be nice but i believe they're also much ex more expensive and there's really no place around here where i can hire those guys i mean this here yeah that's pretty much it we could get someone here maybe from from this class m planet but yeah let's see what comes out but i think this is really something i will do in my next video um was a relatively long one but i think pretty manageable doing two days or two rounds in one video i think i will continue doing that so overall um we have four more rounds to go we haven't found another uh, borg cube yet but they will come out relatively quickly i think there are two in the pile and really curious to see my very first ball cube here on a video hope you're enjoying it huge shout out to all of my patrons again theron thanks so much for your support and also making me aware of my mistake please keep your watchful eyes over me over my playthrough and make me aware of any rude scoops and yeah hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and until then bye bye <laughs>